Welcome to Electron Online. Now let's look at multiplication by 7. Now we'll get into the numbers like times 7, times 8. Things become a little bit more difficult. And I remember when I was learning these that these were more of a challenge. But there are still some tricks that we can use to help us out with this. Again, we have the multiplication table, which we should try to memorize the best we can. And I know that these are a little bit more difficult than the smaller numbers. But nevertheless, we should give it a, a genuine effort and spend time doing so. 7 times 1 is 7, 7 times 2 is 14, 7 times 3 is 21, 7 times 4 is 28, 7 times 5 is 35, 7 times 6 is 42, 7 times 7 is 49, 7 times 8 is 56, 7 times 9 is 63, and 7 times 10 is equal to 70. One pattern that I do notice is that the answers are either odd or even, and they alternate. The first answer is odd, the next answer is even. Next one is odd, the next one is even. The next one is odd, this one is even, this one is odd, this one is even, this one is odd, and this one is even. So that does help us a little bit. Some other tricks that we can use to try and multiply by 7, well, 7 times 1, that's easy enough, that's simply 7. And 7 times 2 simply means we have two 7s, and therefore that's 14. 7 times 3, we take the previous answer, add another 7 to it, and we get 21. 7 times 4, it's like twice 14 plus 14. It's twice 7 times 2. Since 7 times 2 is 14, 7 times 4 is twice that, which would be 14 plus 14, which gives us 28. 7 times 5 is the halfway point. We take 7 times 10, which is 70, and divide it by 2, and we get 35. That's fairly straightforward. 7 times 6, we take the answer for the halfway point, 35, and add another 7 to it to get 42. The way I used to remember 7 times 7, I knew that it was always 50 minus 1. 7 times 7 is 50 minus 1, which is 49. Now, the number 7 times 8, I remember when I was a kid, I had a lot of trouble with that multiplication. But my wife used a really neat trick when she taught our kids how to do that. The way she did that was as follows. She said 5, 6, 7, 8. So 7 times 8 is 56, because you simply look at the numbers 5, 6, 7, 8. A real neat trick, makes it a lot easier to remember it. 7 times 9, that's always the easy one. Anytime you multiply times 9, you multiply times 10 and subtract 1 from it. In this case, 7 times 9 is 7 times 10, which is 70, minus 1, 7 gives you 63. And finally, of course, 7 times 10, you simply add a 0 and you get 70. So here's some nice tricks to help you multiply times 7 to make the job a little bit easier. And that's how it's done.